Hello everybody, I am, um, this is the first time I'm attempting a dual live on Instagram and on Facebook at the same time for Redesign with Prima. I'm Nikki, I am um, the owner and uh, I suppose creator of Gracie's House and I'm a brand ambassador for Redesign with Prima. So this is a bit of a change to normally scheduled programmes, normally I'm live at one o'clock in the afternoon UK time. Um, so this afternoon, this is 5 p.m. for me, so this is a little bit later, obviously which means everyone in the, in the US that normally watches me early in the morning, this is more like lunchtime. So guys, um, I've got two things going on. I'm probably not gonna be particularly reacting to comments. So apologies, I'm not ignoring you. It's just there's so much going on. I've got two screens, this is new. I'm going to talk to you about two, two of the new, hi Debbie, I can see Debbie's just popped on and seen and Patricia. So anyway, I'm going to talk to you about some of the new release products. Ah, oh my God, how exciting is this? So you know how it works. We do the sneak peeks. We come on, we show you small little snippets. Hi Heather. We show you little bits and little teasers and tidbits and um, and all that stuff. And you don't get to see the full stuff until the 1st of April. So that's where it is. You'll have to excuse me, I've got my sunglasses on. We've had the most beautiful weather today. It's like the first day we can sit out in our gardens in the UK. I think everything is gone bonkers. So apologies if I look a little bit like I've chilled in my garden for the afternoon. I'm just gonna show you two of the decoupage papers that are due to be released, released on the 1st of April. Erin, I can see lots of people that I'm familiar with on Facebook, Instagram, you guys, this is probably the first time you've seen me if you don't follow me over on Facebook. So, new face, Nikki from Gracie's house. I am gonna show you two of the new decoupage papers. Can you see all those? So we've got one that's called Cobalt Flourish, which I'm gonna turn it around so you can see. And look at the amazing blues, and there's a bit of yellow in this. They are stunning. And then this one is called Patina Flourish. The description says it all, doesn't it? Do you know what, I'm gonna turn it around. So can you see there's kind of turquoisey colors in there? I know, so excited for new products. Barb, I can see you've come on, Francie, I'm I can't say hello to everybody, so sorry if I've missed you. I'm not ignoring you, I promise. I'm kind of going to strip it down and take it to basics. This release is all about papers. So we have new decoupage papers, we have new A1, beautiful, very artisan rice papers with the squiggly little texture in, but they are stunning. So we have some amazing new products and then something that you're, if you've used our standard decoupage papers, something that you're familiar with, but some new designs. And that's the bit that I'm working with today. I am keeping it to basics. There's a lot of people that I've had comment on my sneak peek saying they'd love to try decoupage and haven't tried it before. So we are literally taking it back to basics. It's a flat surface, there's no creases. This is the best way to start one of your projects. These are going to be my bedside table drawers. So if there's any questions as I go along, guys, I will do my best to pick up an answer. If there's no one monitoring that can help me as I go along, I will answer afterwards. I'm not gonna be able to concentrate on everything as I go along. So these are my bedside tables from my bedroom. They will be. I have painted these in um, Charlotte Grey from um, Paint Couture. Uh, when will it be available in the USA? So this launches across the board on the 1st of April, these new products. We have other designs available already, but if you're waiting for these new designs, this is the 1st of April. Um, this is Charlotte Grey, but because these are, these are knotty pine, I've, um, I've also uh, primed these with a stain blocking primer. So the, um, the Sure Start, the names escape me right now, but Sure Start, the prime, the stain blocking primer from Paint Couture and then Charlotte Grey. So it's a very, very, very light. It's almost a white with a hint of, very pale grey. I have done the draw sides as well because I want this lovely light colour to shine through my decoupage paper. 
What you need to remember, I'm going to open one of these up, is these decoupage papers, they, have trans, they, they do have some translucency to them. So if I show you here, can you see? You can see where the line is still because you can see where the colour is. Now, if I turn this round to the bit that I haven't painted, the back, so this is just ply on the back, you will see that colour comes through. It's not as vibrant. So I've chosen on these, they're actually dark on the sides. I've chosen on these to paint with that lighter coloured base. And even if you were painting a darker colour on the front, if you want these papers to show up their, their most vibrant, then I recommend giving yourself a lighter coloured base. It will, it will set you up better. So this is what we're going for here. So the simple thing to do is get yourself a tape measure, any kind of measure. I have just got a set square. I'm going to measure here. And because there's a gap here, this is where my draw runner goes. I'm not going to be putting paper in there. You don't want to be jamming up your draw slide. So I'm going to cut a piece that will fit here and I'm going to cut a piece that will fit here. Hint, don't get it upside down. I have done this, not on a draw, but I have done this. Make sure that you're measuring. This piece is smaller than this piece. So whatever you're measuring, make sure you have your piece up the right way when you do your measurements. Okay, so I'm gonna measure my top piece first which is about six centimeters so i'm going to just pop that down on the floor i'm going to take my my piece of fabric now i've already double checked these i will get my set of drawers out of this one decoupage sheet slightly different packaging we're used to seeing them in tubes these are now flat packed but the brilliance of this is there is no seam to join so previously we had seams to mess around with these new the new packaging it's folded however we have no seam to deal with okay so i'm going to measure roughly here um, i'll just put a little snip just over that six centimeter mark and i know that i have half of my fabric left so i'm going to do the same thing down here uh, actually no i'm not i'm going to i'm going to cut as i go so you can draw on this, this is like a fabric, and a, more than a paper, this is like a fabric, so you, you, you want to mark off with a pencil or a pen, you can, you can mark this, um, this material. It's much more like a material, it's like, uh, it's probably equivalent to, you know, like a dryer sheet, I don't know if they still do dryer sheets, in the olden times when you put a sheet in your dryer, it's a bit like that kind of fabric so it's a really really great product to use um, as a beginner with tissue paper when you lay it down if you get it wrong you're kind of done this you can reposition so if you're not happy with it you can move it around you can manipulate it a little bit more much easier to use so i'm just cutting a slice that's going to work for me hopefully if i've measured it okay Okay, so that's going to be my first section and you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure the second, where am I, there it is, I'm going to measure the depth of the second section which is, which is just a centimetre, we'll cut that next piece as well, have I got that the right way there, yes I have, we'll cut that next piece and then we'll do that one side all at the same time, which is good. So what I'm doing here is I'm just moving it along and cutting along to eight centimeters. If you are starting out, you probably want to mark the whole section off. But what I'm also going to do is, is I'm going a little bit bigger than my space, and the, the area that I'm large, so that I can show you what you do with a bit of an overlap. So my my medium for sticking today is going to be uh, the Paint Couture, um, I'm using flat top coat today. You can use, um, do you know what, any water-based product's good. Some people like to use a spray adhesive, um, but the, the beauty of using these top coats is that you're kind of sealing it. So once I show you the application method, you're sealing it all in one. Um, and then you can add as many, as many coats as you want. Okay, so we have our drawback. 
So this is our drawer. I'm going to just pop this open. Give it a shake. I have pre-shook this off camera before I went live as well. Again, just to remind you, if you've got questions as I'm going along, I will do my best to answer them afterwards. Roz, you've popped on. Hello. Um, but I'm, I'm really not going to be able to answer as much because I've got two screens flickering in front of me. So you can use flat or satin top coats. Any of these will work. Um, and, and simply, all I'm going to do is give a very generous coat to that area. We'll do the top section first. And a little bit more generous than that. So can you see? That was it. That's it. Just a swipe across. And then I've got my thinnest sliver. I just want to make sure actually that I'm going to get my pattern correct. So let me just line that back up. Yes. And I'm just going to place it on. Now you see I've gone over on the on the back end because I knew I had plenty to work with. I'm going to move it a little bit this way so that I can sand that top edge off. So like I said before, what you don't want to do is you don't want to clog up your draw runner when you're doing things like this. I love doing these peekaboo details. Um, it just gives it just gives you an, an extra level of special, I think. So that's it. I'm stuck on. Okay. So I'm going to then add another layer on top. Again, you can be as generous. I mean, you don't want it soaking, but you can be quite generous. Okay. Now I'm going to do a little trim here, just because I, I simply don't need that much there. But once this is dried off a little bit, you just need to use... Um, I haven't got a sanding pad to hand now. I said I was going to show you, and I haven't got one to hand. Here we go. Take a sanding pad and you can just finish off that edge. And I'll show you how clean that gets that edge. Can you see? I think you're flaring. I think Facebook, the camera might be flaring a little bit. So sorry about that. But it gives you a really clean edge. Um, I'm actually going to do that top edge as well while I'm here. No, that's moved. That's it. And the great thing is that's moved that paper, but you can just lift it back up and pop it back where you want it to do. Now, if you were using normal tissue type of paper, that wouldn't work. So I'm going to leave that to dry before I start sanding that and messing with it. And I'm going to do the same on, on that other edge. And then when I've done this, I will just show you the rest of that paper because the colours are just divine. They are so gorgeous. Okay, so I'm following my pattern along. I'm going to use that top edge where the draw runner is. I'm going to press down. Okay, so I've decided to use both of these papers because um, obviously there's going to be, there's a, I have a pair of these side tables, these bedside tables. Um, and they're going to be a little bit his and hers. So his is going to be the cobalt flourish, which is the more blue. And mine's going to be the patina flourish, which is the kind of turquoise colours, which is, they're all colours I love. Um, don't get me wrong, I love pink, but it's just not something I particularly would have personally in my bedroom so although it wouldn't be on display because it's on a peekaboo drawer side that's why I've decided to use these two I'm going to go over the top okay. a little bit more like I said you can be you can be really generous with this and the other tip to think about is if you haven't got much drawer clearance um, you know, if you're adding paint, if you're adding anything, if you haven't got much draw clearance, then this might not be the way to go. A good way to look at it is, is if you can put a, a, a little, um, I'm going to say a penny, but you guys, is it uh, is a cent? Is that your little, is that your smallest denomination? It is, isn't it, I think. If you can, if you can fit a cent between the draw edge 
and the frame, then you're probably good to go. You might want to go for a bigger coin, but that's, but that's it. That's how easy they are to use. That's gonna have to dry. Once that's dried, we will then sand off that edge and it will give you a nice clean edge. You can, if you like, once this is dried and, and this is kind of sealed in, you can top coat again if you feel like you need it. Again, this isn't gonna be a high traffic area. It's in my drawer sides. You should be good to go. So I'm going to pop this one down. I'm going to see, you can tell the sun's out. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but there's an ice cream van trotting around in my, in my, in, um, in my neighborhood. So this is not so sneaky. This is, this is the whole piece, isn't it gorgeous? Can you see the colors? Again, you Facebook guys, I think you're not quite seeing as many colors. It's a bit, it's not as washed out as it's showing up on your screen, if you're seeing what I'm seeing. Beautiful. So on the next drawer, I'm going to crack out the cobalt fish. So this is because I've got the designs the other way round. So let's just show you that one again. Let's see that in the packet. Can't get into it even. So where is the patina flourish had the kind of colour in the background and the damask pattern was in the darker colour, in the kind of blacky colour. This has got the pattern in the blue and then the background is pretty neutral. So if I show you up you can see the kind of yellowy green highlights in there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And um, the same moment, so I think based on first we're looking and I do exactly my top coat. Hi Lisa, I've just seen you, you've popped on, you've probably been there for a while but I've only just seen you, sorry about that. Make sure I've got it up the right way. So I've got the six centimetre one first. I always go quiet, you know, when I'm concentrating it does tend to go a little bit more quiet. So, has anyone got their eye on the what your favourite sneak piece that you've seen? If you haven't always tell me where you're from. Do you know because I've got Instagram going as well, it's all complicated, man. <laughs> but tell me where you're watching from. If you've already decided with the new release items you've got eye on. So that's my sentiment. And, and also, I'm trying to do this upside down. Helen, hello. Have you only just joined me or have you been in and out? Did you forget? It's just too lovely today, isn't it? Did you go through the track to get back just to watch me? I'm just doing the slightly wider one, which is the, the section. easy these the application is it's, so I've had a lot of said I've had a lot of people try and decorate really really good option um, as a starting point because they just are so easy to apply they're great fit sets I do them on of kind of covered doors um, I've had blanket boxes I do them on the inside of all sorts <laughs> Am I a bit glitchy? I really apologise if I'm a bit glitchy on Facebook because my iPad is old. So I'm hoping that's not what that robot comment means, Helen, but I'm thinking it probably is. So I do apologise. I feel like a new iPad investment is coming on. Okay, so we have our two strips cut from the Cobalt Flourish. Pretty. So we're on to the next drawer, and I need to make sure that for the sakes of the camera, I'm not putting cobalt on one side and patina on the other. Um, Ellie, I can see there's people asking about where you can get them. I'll drop some um, comments, I'll drop some links about 
where you can find your retailers at the end if that hasn't already been done. So I'm going to do exactly the same process, really, really simple. I'm just doing a generous coat. Again, I'm using Paint Couture flat top coat for mine, um, but any water-based um, top coat, clear coat is going to do the job for you. I'm trying to make sure that I've got my patterns the right way round because I haven't yet. There we go. Make sure you've got your patterns if you've got more than one section. <laughs> there we go, Roz is popping some comments on for me, I think I can see there. Thank you, Roz, you're a star. So I'm placing it on, I'm popping it down. It's, it, it's, it's soaking up that top coat I've already applied and then I'm gonna do another generous coat on the top, which basically is your sealing coat. just going to cut that piece off at the end. Like I said I've already measured and I know that each set, each paper, the size of it will allow me to do one bedside complete set. So that's all good. Nancy can you use it on a tabletop? You can do but you're going to want to probably seal several times to make sure that you've got um, a really really good um, uh, finish and a good um, sealed, usable finish, durable. Um, I've actually done one I posted today where um, I've, I've, I've done it underneath a glass surface and obviously underneath being ultimately the best because you've then got the glass and that worked really really well. So again I've just put one coat, generous, on, on the um, to start me off on that next section. Not getting that right on the edge where I want it. There we go. No, still not doing it. I'm on my tiptoes here, guys, so that you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I'm going to cut that edge off now. And there's my ceiling. So, I um. You know, this is this is quite a, a quick one. This is a simple one. I could show you again. I probably don't need to. You've probably seen what you need to see. Just doing that edge because I'm here. Um, you've probably seen what you need to see. Let me come back to that first one and just see if it's dried up enough for me to um, to sand that edge again. I think it might still be a bit damp once this is dried um, you're going to find it's you, you know it's very it's fully stuck down and then once you've done that like I said you just take a sanding sponge or um, a sanding block make sure it's got a nice flat surface so that it's going along the edge of your piece and you just kind of go in a downward motion so don't rub backwards and forwards try and rub in a downward motion along the edge and that will finish your piece off nice and smoothly. Cutting, you can still get a, a jagged edge. If you use a sand, a sand pad, it will give you a nice, clean, finished edge. Um, I'm just going to see if there's any questions. First layer, I admit there's someone's talking about a napkin there, but I can't see the whole question. So I will, I will try and... I will try and um, catch that one later. Bit late, final coat epoxy pour. Oh, okay, Sue, I think we're talking about something different. <laughs> so we're talking about the decoupage papers. This is, I mean, essentially that's it, guys. It, I, I kind of thought this was gonna be about a half hour slot today, simply because it's relatively, it is a relatively easy product to use. If you're, um, you know, if you're planning on it or if you haven't used it before, I'd urge you to get cracking and start with these decoupage papers. So let me show you the packaging again. Get right way around, no. So that one's the Patina Flourish. 
So this is the new packaging. And as I said, the great thing about it is it's folded now, but you haven't got to deal with it. So previously, this would have come in two pieces and now it's all in one big sheet. So for me, that's great. We haven't got to worry about trying to sort a seam out. So that's the patina flourish. And I've lo I completely lost that. There it is. That's the other one that I've used. Let me see. Is the cobalt flourish, which is a little bit more masculine for hubs. He's going to have this one on his side. Thank you. And they both go really with scarlet grey from Paint Control. He's just a wisp of a colour. It's kind of, it's not really a grey, it's a white with a hint of. And um, yeah, I think we're probably kind of done. If there's any questions, um, I think Roz is answering some questions on Instagram for me, which is super, because I literally can't <laughs> see them. I'm trying my best to see them. It's impossible. Um, they are, Nancy, they're beautiful designs. So there we go, that's it on the side. That's the patina one. bring back the cobalt one. Oh, so cute. So cute. So I hope that that's helped. Those of you that are beginners, um, those of you that have used them before, it's really more of a nosy to see the, a couple of the new designs. So I hope that you've enjoyed those. And um, I really appreciate you spending time with me. I may do this again, this Instagram, Facebook thing. I think it's, it's quite good. I might have to buy a new iPad. Who knows? <laughs> Sue, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah, really nice. Cindy, you, you, you're wanting both, are you? That's good. Excellent. Um, so, yeah, guys, thank you very much for spending some time with me. If those of you that are in the UK, um, I really appreciate you taking the time out because it is the most glorious day. We've, um, we've just had the most fantastic weather today. I've been sat in the garden this afternoon. My in-laws finally allowed to come and sit in our garden. It's been lovely. And those of you in the States, whatever your situation, I, um, I, I know there's lots of people everywhere across the world, but I'm kind of, you know, that's my two biggies. Um, so I just appreciate you spending time with us. And I'm going to have to try and work out switching both of these off without getting an up the nose shot. So I hope that works okay. Thanks, guys. Bye.